What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire analysis video. Secret bases, no super secret bases, that's all that needs to be said. If you're not familiar with them, secret bases were small cave-like areas that could be created in set locations and could be personalized to your liking. It was unique to Generation 3 and 4, but with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire being remakes of these Gen 3 games, it is one of the biggest things fans, including myself, are anticipating. The Pokemon companies just updated their site to confirm the returning of secret bases and reveal a ton of new information on super secret bases with new screenshots and exciting information. So today, we're gonna analyze everything revealed about secret bases in depth. Secret bases are getting a huge upgrade in these new games, but let's take it slowly. As noticeable in the screenshots released, only bases created in wall openings, trees, and shrubs are shown, which could possibly mean that they won't be introducing new secret base areas like an underwater opening like fans were hoping for, but they very well could just be hiding it for now. Comparing it to the original bases, these new bases are a little bigger both vertically and horizontally. As can be seen by these decorated bases, the former 16 item limit is extended to support more items. And speaking of items, there's a load of new items available, from animated decorations like the giant GTS globe, to items from other regions like this polka flute from the Shabano castle in the Kalos region. The placement of items have also been improved, and items like polka dolls can now be placed on an angle. And if you haven't noticed yet, everything from the room to each decoration to the posters have a lot more detail in them. It's beautiful. Also, along with former obstacles like holes returning, new obstacles like walls can be found at certain bases, mostly cave bases. But these obstacles can be bypassed by covering the holes with wooden planks and building a stairway up the walls. Time also plays a factor and your secret base will turn dark activating light sources like lamps in your PC. And like how many fans have wanted, you will now be able to share your super secret base with others worldwide and add and explore each other's bases. You can also create a unique QR code for your secret base and share it with your friends. How crazy is that? In the original Ruby and Sapphire games, you had to use a link cable to connect your Game Boy Advances together in mixed records just to explore your friend's base. I know it's been over 10 years since then, but it's definitely an upgrade I'm gonna appreciate. And it doesn't end there. Game Freak is not only taking elements from Gen 3 secret bases, but also from Gen 4 secret bases. A colored flag sticks out beside the PC just like in Gen 4 bases, marking the return of the flag capturing system. You can visit other bases and take their flag and they'll respond the next day. Maybe even your base could expand each time you get a certain number of flags just like in Gen 4. It's just a thought though. You can also invite trainers you see in other bases and scout them as your secret pal, who can aid you with quote unquote special powers as you play through the game. Now don't get too excited, as far as we know, they won't physically play along with you like an MMO, but will essentially offer you O powers like faster egg hatching, though it may not be called O powers in these games. And the more secret pals you have, the more special powers you'll be racking up. Moving back to the flag system, it's unconfirmed whether each base can only offer one flag a day no matter how many visitors, but it's speculated that you'll have to be the first one to get their flag. The more flags you collect, the higher your rank will become and your home flag will change color to show your rank to others visiting. As you collect more and more flags, your Poke Pals will offer you more and stronger special powers, which is definitely a more exciting way of unlocking and upgrading these powers than just cruising around town looking for the bonding guy everywhere. This image here shows a lower angle of 6 players facing forward as if they are posing for a photo like an X and Y, giving fans the idea that you may be able to take a photo of your secret base. This next image showcases the user's secret base profile, showing how many flags they have, their QR code, as well as the game they are playing. And this icon here is very likely the Pokemon Omega Ruby icon on the 3DS menu. To go with the improved personalization, you can also add trainers to your base and customize your trainers and battle rules that must be followed. You can essentially create an entire gym out of your base as shown here in this image and maybe even have the name of each player that defeats the leader recorded in the gym statue. Here's the controversy. With these trainers being in-game characters like youngsters and lassies, fans are speculating that character customization may not return in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They state that there shouldn't be the need to have set character models for secret bases if players could customize their appearance like in X and Y. And though it may be plausible, you can't be too sure. In the original Ruby and Sapphire games, your player would turn into an NPC when your friend visits your base. And in the same way, other players could be replaced with an NPC model in these remakes to the fridge as there are only so many different character designs and players can wind up interacting with someone who looks nearly the same with you if they have the same models. 
And finally, I'll leave you all with your own speculation. A new character known as Erun, holding the title of the super secret base expert, makes an appearance in these remakes. He travels the world with his partner Pokemon Flygon and proudly spreads the word about Hoenn's secret base culture. Fans are speculating that this location up in a tree may be his own secret base, being the master of bases, but it could simply be a Storm Fortress city. Moving back, it looks like secret bases will be a forced part of the storyline, just like Pokewood was in Black 2 and White 2, but two ideas come up here. First off, being a world traveler, he may make an appearance in other regions, adding the possibilities of secret bases existing in those future games to come. And secondly, the fact that he's possibly the only character who uses Flygon for his days, and in fact only uses Flygon, fans are speculating that Flygon may Mega Evolve in this game and will be used by him. But as you know, in order to Mega Evolve in battle, the character must possess a Mega Keystone, which he doesn't appear to have if you look at his official artwork, but it's possible that he's completely hiding it, like how Game Freak did with Maxine Archie's official artwork. But keep in mind, it's just speculation, and he may not have any significance at all other than teaching you his secret base ways. So nearly everything fans have wanted for secret bases have been confirmed, and I can definitely see super secret bases being a much more enjoyable experience and something players will enjoy even after beating the game. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on secret bases in the comments below. I'm actually really interested on what everyone thinks about it. There's a ton of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage on the way, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.